Happy Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. We have a special Father's Day edition of Sundays with Serby. This week, New York Post sports columnist Steve Serby's Q&A wasn't with just one person as usual, but it was with three. Steve spoke with Mets manager Buck Showalter and his two children, Allie and Nathan. Steve joins me now. Steve, in speaking to Showalter about Father's Day, did you get the sense that his late father meant a lot to him and had a profound impact on his career? Well, his late father meant everything, and uh, he uh, was the principal at the high school Buck went to, which uh, was good news and bad news. Buck one day got caught pitching pennies in class and had to make a long walk down the hallway for a visit with his father, who obviously wasn't wasn't very pleased. But his father participated in D-Day. His father uh, helped lead an integration of the high schools uh, in, in Florida, where, where Buck grew up. Um, it was tough love, and he taught Buck discipline and respect. And he, Buck said there were three people in, in life that he feared, and one of those three was his father. His father had a profound impact on him for sure. Now, you didn't just speak to Buck, as I mentioned at the top. His daughter, Allie, and his son, Nathan, also spoke to you. So what did you learn about how, as a father, Buck has impacted his children? Well, Nathan was a, uh, a good high school baseball player, and, and one day he sat down with Buck and, and asked his opinion, do you think I can play at a Division I school? And Buck was brutally honest with him said, uh, I think you might be better served to focus on something else, and uh, which is what a, a, a good father does. And uh, they shared uh, duck hunting rides, sometimes seven hours worth, during which they would listen to crank call albums by a disc jockey in Tulsa. And the two of them would crack up and bond that way. And um, Buck would always make up for lost time, not only with Nathan, but with his daughter, Allie, as well. Yeah, Buck seems like a strong father figure to his kids and also being a good father figure to a lot of the men in the Mets clubhouse this year. Steve, it was a really good yep. Q&A. Please check well, out. Well, thank you, but I wasn't done. I wasn't done. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had something else. You're going always on. cutting me off, Dax. I, You're you always cutting I, me off. I apologize. I was thrown off this week because we didn't have any props. Go ahead. No, I want to give equal time to Allie because Buck when Allie was a little girl, petitioned her dad to open the clubhouse post-game, and Buck, once a year, would make sure that all the players, before they showered, before they undressed, would let the little daughters in so they could enjoy being part of the baseball scene. And Buck is probably a better father and grandfather than he is a manager, because Allie told me when the little kids gather around Grandpa Buck, he'll watch cartoons with them rather than SEC football. And I think that says it all. That says it all. The grandkids have him right under their thumb. He, they get whatever they want around Grandpa Buck. That is Steve Good Serby. man. Check out his Q&A in the NewYorkPost.com this week. Steve, thank you for your time. Another Sunday's with Serby. Thank you, man. Thank, thank you, Dex.